So over here next to Great Basin, we have Lincoln Hall, which was the longest continuously operating dorm west of the Mississippi. I say was because it is no longer a dorm, and the explanation behind that, you need to understand the building next to it, Great Basin. To this day, if you stop right about here on Google Maps, on the street view, you can actually see the old White Pine building that used to be here. The White Pine building was a purchased hotel, purchased by the university, similar to Sierra. And eventually they decided it was time to demolish it and build a new building. So the original plans were actually to demolish this building in order to build Great Basin Hall. The university did not like the fact that the historic building was going to be demolished, so they stepped in and took this building out of the purview of housing, and the Great Basin is built very strangely as a result. This was the original dorm on campus. It was a male-only dorm, and it was the place where everyone on campus lived, that is, students and faculty and professors. It must have been a very interesting environment back then that you were living with your professors on campus. But nowadays, allegedly, this is a classroom. I say allegedly because I've never been able to verify it. And looking in through some of the windows, I see some things that look like museum pieces and offices. Also, I have heard that this is the building for one of the vice presidents. But again, I haven't been able to confirm that, so I don't know the true use of this building as of it stands today, but historically it was a dormitory and it was the longest continuously operating dormitory west of the Mississippi.